<laughs> hey y'all what y'all say it it's been a minute it has been so long <laughs> i hope everybody is doing well um yeah <laughs> i've been trying to do a video for months like especially this particular video um i supposed to do this from the beginning of july but you know i kind of been in like this been going through some shit and um i wasn't really motivated to do anything you know but i was like you know what since i downloaded a new um editing software i'll try it and sorry that was kind of like sinus anyway i'll try it and we'll work it out see how this is gonna go so that gave me a little bit of motivation to do the video so i'm like okay let's go on <laughs> so anyway, a little bit of changes have been happening. Like we painted the wall in the store green. We have an accent wall now. And um, what else did like? I'm letting this grow in. We'll see how this changes. And my hair has gotten longer. Yes, but I'm like in freaking. This frizz is no joke. Like curly hair problems. <laughs> Anyway, um, so yeah, we're going to be talking about, um, I think I may have put it in the title already, so we're going to be talking about my trip to Toronto. So yeah, I um, went to Toronto at the end of June. Um, my whole reason for going to Toronto, this is going to bother me, so I'm just going to leave it. Anyway, so my whole reason for going to Toronto was so I can celebrate my birthday and my big brother's birthday. I call him my big brother, but that's really my best friend. I don't know. Yeah. So he's like my big brother. He's like another version of me, but just older. Anyway, so I, um, my birthday is June 15th and he's June 17th. And I initially wanted to go that week, but because the yoga festival was that Saturday, which was the 18th, I and I'm on the planning committee, so I had to be there to show out and represent and all of that good stuff. And um, yeah, that was that. So I went the following week, and I think the following Wednesday. And all right, let me start off. So when I bought the ticket, I got, I, I don't know if this is a good deal, but I thought it was. It was $389 round trip on a direct flight like come on now when i was searching up other prices like connecting flights they had like five hour layovers and the ticket would run me into 500 dollars. so when i saw that 389 i was like yes god <laughs> y'all don't know y'all so yeah i um so that was the beginning of it so when i got to the airport from nassau to toronto was about three hours and 15 minutes and it wasn't too bad. Like, I mean, even though my legs are a little bit longer than the seating. Because, <laughs> child, I wasn't paying extra for first class. Sorry about the thoughts. I'm trying to get there in one piece. And it is what it is. And I'm trying to run out. Um, yeah, I really have a lot of hair. Um, I run in competition with Squeak and her fro. <laughs> oh, Lord. Anyway, um, what are I saying now? So yeah, once we landed into Toronto, uh, their airport is massive. Like, it's fucking huge. Oh my god. Um, so yeah, from the gate to the baggage claim was like a mile and some. Like, I thought friggin' Miami airport was horrible, which I can't stand Miami airport. But Toronto is bigger, but it's nicer though. Anyway, so yeah, once I got my bags and cleared customs and all that stuff like that, I got, I was WhatsApping my brother and he was telling me what train to get on to get to his area. So the train that I went on was the Union Pearson train and that runs from the airport all the way straight to his street. So I'm like, oh, awesome. So yeah, I didn't have to worry about that. And... That was a cool, smooth ride. It had, um, the fuck is it called? It had Wi-Fi, free Wi-Fi on board, which is good, always good. So I was still keeping in contact with him and keeping in contact with my parents and everybody let them know I reached. 
Um, so yeah, after that, I got off the train, and I guess I came out the wrong exit. So I was walking around for a bit, and I was kind of wondering, okay, so I'm out of Wi-Fi range, and I, I don't know where the fuck I am. I can't contact my brother anymore. So I found a Tim Hortons, and Tim Hortons is the Dunkin' Donuts of Canada, right? Really nice place, smells so good, and uh, I had a white chocolate, hot chocolate, which was amazeballs, and it was pretty cheap too. So yeah, um, so I asked them where they, where, if they knew where um, the street was, and no one knew, and I'm like, okay, so it have to be close because I mean, it's whatever. Anyway, so I still couldn't get my brother on WhatsApp, best friend. Fuck it, that's my brother, yeah? That's the older version of me. Oh. Anyway, so I still couldn't get him on WhatsApp because no Wi-Fi. And I'm just walking around. So I ended up going to the Royal York Hotel. And I'll put a picture somewhere up so y'all could see kind of what it looked like. Anyway, um, when I got there, I asked the dorm man if he knew where um, this his street was. And then he started to tell me. And then another visitor he was there and he was like hey weren't you on the flight from the Bahamas and I'm like yeah and he was like oh okay cool we were on that flight too um how can we help you with anything and I'm like oh okay um so I told them where I needed to go and um another doorman came over and all of them were like just telling me where on um, what direction I needed to start walking in and then one of the doormen walked to the corner with me and then showed me which way to go and I'm like motherfuck these people are so nice like my first encounter everybody was so nice even at Tim Hortons even though they didn't know anything they I mean couldn't help me they still were very nice and I'm like wow it kind of threw me for a loop because I mean Bahamians are nice as well right but it's still attitudinal a little bit like with their own kind of but it's funny Bahamians is treat tourists a lot better than their own which is very sad the whole black crab syndrome is real just saying um so yeah um so I found his condo's building and I found my brother's condo his building and so he buzzed me up and I went up and when I tell you the view is so amazing, I think I might put that as the display picture um, because apparently when I was checking my phone just now, I when I was clearing my phone, I guess I deleted all of my Snapchat pictures that I saved because I had them individual, but they're on my Instagram, so they're just grouped together, so I'll just put them all together, which was annoying when I was looking just now. Anyway, so yeah. Um, yeah, when I got up to this place, it was very chill. I had the place to myself for that night, and it was so relaxing. Like, the view, I had the gr a great view of the CN Tower and the Rogers Stadium, and it was so beautiful. Like, everything was lit up. You could see the street lights and all that stuff like that. It was so pretty, and we were high up. Um, I think the 39th floor? Something like that. Anyway, it's a really nice place. Um, so, yeah, that was my first night. there my okay so my first day there I really didn't do much I didn't get out of bed till like around three and then I decided let me go explore for a bit so I looked up close shopping malls in the area so I came upon the Eaton Center and I was just walking around and I'm like oh, okay and so I asked my brother how to get there and he told me and I was just browsing the mall for a bit just checking out what's in there seeing like which stores I'll hit in the following couple days in the upcoming days and I'm like yes and it had a sale too and I'm like yes this is awesome um so yeah I went to Apple because one of my main spending thingies <laughs> the main things I had to spend my money on was um I had to get a new battery for my laptop so yeah so I made the appointment with Apple to see what the deal is and I think it's for the following day so yeah my other friend um he met up, he WhatsApp me, asked me where I was because he lives in Toronto as well. And he messaged, well, we were messaging 
whenever I got Wi-Fi. And I told him that I was still at the Eaton Center. I think he had just came from a date or something. Child, I tell him all he business. <laughs> oh, girl. <laughs> Sorry. Um, but yeah. Um, and then we ended up walking around. He showed me his um, favorite comic book store. And we went to e Church Street. Yeah. Anyway, my ass was hungry because I hadn't eaten all day. And so we went to a restaurant. I really don't remember the name. But whatever it was, I had a beer, of course. Y'all know. Y'all really think I'm trying to, like, not drink at all. Like, y'all don't know I drink like a fish. Anyway. So I had a... Um, wild mushroom risotto and for dessert I had what the fuck did I have wild berry sorbet raspberry sorbet that's what it was raspberry sorbet it was pretty it was good it was very good and the hosts were cool there the food was good it was very hot which was not well I had to chill for a minute before I could eat even though how hungry I was um so that was cool My second day, I went to, no, that was, fuck it. The next day, <laughs> I uh, went back to the Eaton Center so I could go to Apple to get my um, thing up, to get my laptop fixed. Yeah, so anyway, they told me what the issue was, and so I knew I had to get a new battery. And they told me the reason why my trackpad was raised, well, my mouse pad was raised, is because the battery was swollen. And I'm like, damn. So come to find out, I never knew this, Apple gives you a five-year limit before you can fix, so you can fix your computer. So if it's beyond the five years, you have to go to outside source, an outside Apple-approved source. So I'm like, fuck. And... The thing is, if I was in that five-year limit, because I got this laptop in 2010, and it's 2016, so I just missed it. Anyway, so if I was in that five-year window, I would have been paying about $150 for the battery and about $50, $75 for the trackpad, which wasn't bad, I think. So anyway, so I was like, fuck it, I'm going today. So y'all, they, I gave, got the info from them and of the store where I had to go. So I was like, okay, cool. So I ended up just walking around and I did a little bit of shopping that day. I didn't really go too, too crazy because I knew I had to spend money on my laptop because that was really my main money spend though. Main spendation. Fuck it, y'all know what I mean. <laughs> anyway, so yeah. Um, and I think the first restaurant I went to was... 11 and that's on york street it's 11 york street haha <laughs> anyway so i got the rotoni that's the type of noodle in a tomato sauce no in a cream sauce and then it had goat cheese and goat cheese on top and then i had more i asked for more parmesan cheese it was good, you know, it was good. It just wasn't enough for me. Even when I spread it out, I'll put the picture of it up. And then I had sangria with it. And the sangria was nice. And uh, for that little thing, I got about three cups, which was pretty good. Um, what else did I have? Mm. Yeah, so that was that. And then after I ate, I went back to my brother's place and he was there so we talked business for a bit and um yeah that was that so the next day i started to make my journey to this place this um to get my laptop fixed i think it's called jump plus or something like that Anyway, they did a good job, and they were very nice and helpful. So just getting there was a fucking mission. Like, I walked so much, and I'm like, 
all of my knees hurting, my ass hurting, my thighs hurting. I'm like, Jesus, it's too much. Um, yeah, so I was like, fuck that. Anyway, so I continued walking, and everybody who I encountered on the way who I asked questions was, they were very nice, and they helped me get to where I need to go. Um, so what else? So once I got there, they um, told me what the issue was, which I already knew. And I got my laptop fixed. Um, well, I gave them my laptop so they can fix it. Come to find out, it was $350 to get a new battery. And they said, oh, to get another um, mouse battery, it'd be like $125. i am like, oh, no, fuck that. Even though I had it. I still had other stuff to do, and plus I still had another couple of days to be there, so I'm like, no, no, that's, the battery's fine. Once the battery's cool, I could work around the mouse pad because it still works. Anyway, so yeah, um, so once I left my laptop with them, I walked a little ways down to a couple blocks as I passed a few pubs, because while I was walking there, I passed, um, the University of Toronto, and it was very nice, it, it kind of looks like Hogwarts, and I also so past the um, library, the public library, and that looked like Gryffindor's common room entrance or something like that. Like, it was very cool, and I'm like, wow. Like, the architecture in Toronto is awesome. If y'all get the chance, like, really go. Really go. Um, so, yeah, I ended up in this little Irish pub. Everybody in there was... Um, Let's just say I was the only black person in there. And I low-key felt a little bit uncomfortable. My, uncomfortable, Mind you, everybody was very nice. And it was like a couple college students and a few said who weren't in college just sitting there drinking. But it was kind of empty because it's like in the middle of the day. Plus, it's summer, so... Um, I was like, okay, I'm the only black person here. This is awkward. Let me hurry up and eat and carry my ass, basically. Like, yeah. Anyway, so what I got? I got a chicken Caesar salad. And for a bar, that chicken Caesar salad was really good. That surprised me. And then I got uh, those equis. Those equis. The two X's, man. I think that's how it's called. Um, I got that. And, but I was impressed by, for a bar food, that chicken Caesar salad was good. So yeah, anyway, when I left there, I was walking for a bit and I ended up in Starbucks and I chilled and kind of like killed time there and waited until um, the people emailed me about my laptop to say it was done. So it finished. I In about two hours, I was I got my laptop back and I was happy with everything and it still works and stuff like that so I can use it without it having to be plugged in. So that was really one of the main things I had to deal with while I was over there. So once that was done, I was like, yes. Um, what did I eat that night? No, legit. What did I eat that night? I think I just got... What? No, for real. What did I eat that night? This is... Anyway, I whatever it was, I didn't take a picture of it. Yeah. But that's one thing. I I didn't have any fast food while I was over there because I come in all this way and was there any freaking McDonald's and Burger King and Wendy's? Oh or um Popeyes. Oh no, sorry about that. I uh uh No. I eat good. This is my vacation, so I'm going to be a glutton. Anyway, um my I think I just had like some 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 cheap and some snacks or something like that, like microwave bullshit, or I might have eaten what my brother cooked. I, I really can't remember. I really can't remember. Anyway, so the day after that was my shopping day. This was the Friday, I think. No, this was the, yeah. This is my shopping day. Um, actually, no. After I got my laptop fixed, that's when I did my shopping. Right. <laughs> that's when I did my shopping um, and let me tell you I did some damage over there I I really 
and like everywhere, like I said before, everywhere was having a sale. So the day before I picked out which stores I was going to hit and now I hit all of those stores. And yeah, this was when I didn't remember what I got. So anyway, the next day, that was a Saturday, I um, really didn't do anything. I think I wanted to go to Walmart and we went to the Walmart on the Sunday, but the Saturday I just chilled and that was really, yeah, I didn't do anything Saturday. I was really, me and my brother was in bed. Like we just chilled by him. I was laying down most of the day and he was doing some work or whatever. And um, yeah, but we were home throughout the whole day. So at one point I left to get go to get something to eat. That was the only time I left the day, left for the day. And I went to a restaurant that was on his corner called Casey's. And Casey's, that food was really good. Excuse me, like I had the roasted red pepper soup. Amazing. I'm totally stealing that recipe for my um, cookbook. Um, then I had the pan seared salmon with quinoa, sauteed vegetables, and a grilled lemon. That was really good. And me personally, I don't really like quinoa like that, but it still was very yummy. Um, and then for dessert, I had a peanut butter brownie sundae. And that was good. And y'all know I lactose intolerant, so me and the ice cream, that kind of made my belly flip just a little bit. But it didn't do go too crazy because it wasn't too much ice cream. Um, so yeah. Um, later that night, my other bestie came and we just had like a game night. We were playing video games all night and it was pretty fun. Um, it was a chill night and this is kind of like what I needed to just go away and chill. I didn't need to do too much, but I just chilled. Anyway, so the Sunday, uh, me and my brother, we went to the Walmart. So he took me there and I'm like, eh, this Walmart is kind of skeevy and gross. And I'm like, if I step on the floor, my foot will stick. And let me tell you something about Bahamians. Anytime Bahamians go to Walmart, we're usually in there for like three or four hours, you know, like just picking up shit and stuff like that and making many trips after that. So yeah, I don't know what the relationship is with Bahamians and Walmart, but it, it's just that. Anyway, so we did that and I was probably in there for about 30, 45 minutes, if that much. And I'm like, child, this ain't gonna work. <laughs> so yeah, um, after that, what did we do that Sunday? I think I went, I went, no, I went back to the Eaton Center, which was the shopping mall. And my brother went home. And he took my stuff. So I went back to the mall and I did some more shopping. So, okay, let me tell you this little joke. Y'all, I don't know if y'all follow Hey Paris, but she's from Toronto, right? And one of her videos, she was talking about her ex that tried to kill her. Y'all watch that story time, that was hilarious. So yeah, if y'all see her, like just say, hey. Like, her little tagline is, hey, oh, crrr, ha, stop that, I did that on the first try, I'm freaking awesome. Anyway, so yeah, that was that, um, that's funny, I can't believe I did that just now. <laughs> anyway, so in one of her videos, she was talking about her ex-boyfriend, and she was just saying how he was spazzing out, and then he, like, kind of had this Jamaican accent, too, but he was Canadian, and then, <laughs> it's just, like, and then at the, after she was explaining, she was like, well, you know how Toronto guys are. And then in another one of her videos, a guy was trying to flirt with her and all that stuff like that. And even the movements of what she was doing was on point. And then she's like, you know how Toronto guys are. I didn't really fully understand that until I saw the shit in action. So when I saw that, I'm, my mind instantly went back to her. And I'm like, I got to find her. But I didn't. Anyway. So yeah, I was like, whoa, this shit is like, oh real <laughs> so yeah um yeah so i did some more damage at the mall and then i came back sunday on my way back i went looking for another restaurant it was 
two restaurants. I think my brother, he had to go to a networking event because he's an actor and screenwriter and producer. So shout out to him. And um, so, yeah, he did that. And I went to, so I wasn't going to see him until later in the night. So I went, it was two restaurants that I was trying to decide between. So it was Jack Astor's or what's the other one? Canyon Creek. And Canyon Creek was the one I ended up going to. And let me tell you, the, the ambiance is very cool. It's very laid back. It's a loungy type of thing. And um, it was like downstairs a little bit. So like when you looked, they had skylights. So when you looked on the skylight, you can see the, you can see people walking and that's the sidewalk. So I thought that was pretty cool. And um, I had a chicken Caesar salad there, a grilled chicken Caesar salad. And that was the best one I've had in a really long time. And then it had the big shavings of Parmesan cheese. Awesome. The bread there was so good. It was like this honey oat bread and they gave you honey butter. Oh my God. Then I, my main course was pan seared chicken with penne and tomato cream sauce with cherry tomatoes and I'm forgetting something. I think it had, that had goat cheese too. I'm not sure. Anyway, um, but yeah, that was off the chain. And then for dessert, I had a um, lemon lemon cello berry creme brulee and when I say that was the best creme brulee I ever had like even in culinary school when we made creme brulee I that still doesn't top that that was amazing that was the best creme brulee I ever had um and what the waitress was telling me that they usually have seasonal creme brulees and that one is like light and refreshing which it was and then also like in the fall she had like they have like the chocolates and the pumpkin creme brulee stuff like that so I'm like awesome Um, so yeah, what else? Uh, uh, even earlier in that day, I forgot to mention this. Earlier in that day, I went to, while I was walking to the Eaton Center, I stumbled across uh, the Toronto Jazz Festival, and they were like right near the Eaton Center that day. So I caught a couple performances and just... It was really nice. And then I saw the Toronto sign. I think I'll probably put that in the beginning because that's all in one photo. And the view of my brother's apartment, is, that's all in one photo. So I'll just do that then. Um, so yeah, that was, that was that. And then what else? I was leaving that Monday. So once I got back, I watched the BET Awards and just chilled for the rest of the night. And the next day, the Monday I was leaving, I got up and I went to Chipotle. I had Chipotle for breakfast. <laughs> like, that was the first time I had Chipotle in two years, and it was totally worth it. Like, I got the burrito bowl with the lime cilantro rice, the black beans, the chicken, the sour cream, the lettuce, the tomato salsa, the corn salsa, the mozzarella cheese, and guacamole. And I'm kind of, like, kicking myself that I didn't um, get a burrito and put it in my carry-on so I could take that back to Nassau because when I got back to Nassau I was not into any type of food that was here and I didn't want no fast food because I was eating good for the last couple of days I'm on that run sorry about that oh <laughs> um but yeah so after that I went to went back to my brother's place um and then my other bestie came and um I changed and finished packing up the rest of my stuff and then I went to the airport and let me tell you that airport is huge it's ridiculous like I was there an hour and 45 minutes before my flight it took me about that time just to check in wait on that line to drop my luggage off and then walk to my gate and I wanted to like take pictures of the airport and stuff like that because they had like a Hennessy bar a Hennessy Lounge, where you can use your iPad and stuff like, well, use iPads that they have there and stuff like that. And I'm like, oh, I wanted to drink while I was in the airport, but I don't have freaking time for that. <laughs> anyway, so I got on uh, my flight and came back to Nassau. But in overall, if you can make it to Toronto, really go, because the city was so clean. 
and everybody was so nice and it was just a different experience and I'm like I prefer going there as opposed to going to the states I rather take my vacations either in Toronto or I'm gonna try go to London because at some point in my life I know I'll be living in London yeah anyway so this video is long enough so yeah that's it um so y'all can follow me on all of my social medias um it is my tumblr my speaking of tumblr i'm doing a q a video that'll be my next one my next q a my next video because i haven't done one since last summer so i'll do a q a video and y'all could send all of the questions to looneytunes242.tumblr.com slash ask i'll put the link or whatever in um either in the description box or if I can I'll find some way just to put it like I'll forget all this editing shit <laughs> anyway um yeah that is that one then yeah my Instagram my Tumblr and my Snapchat is Looney Tunes 242 L-O-O-N-E-Y T-O-O-N-Z 242 and then I don't really do Twitter like that, but um, I do tweets during um, Love and Hip Hop and uh, award shows, like events like that, like big things. Awards, it's like worth being on Twitter for where you get all the jokes. Um, so yeah, I'm happy. Listen, y'all don't know. I had to do this video over because I kept leaving out parts and I'm like I'm too lazy to do all that chopping I'll just figure that shit out another day so I'm just this is my first time playing around with this editing thing so we'll see how this goes y'all bear with me y'all alrighty so I will talk to y'all later have a good one